Hello people, today we are going to focus on the random map generator. Yes, you heard me right, it's finally here. This is the first version and yeah, we hope you will like it. So in order to start, go into skirmish in the single player mode, or you can also go into multiplayer of course. You then select map and scroll all the way to the bottom where you have these random maps as you can see it doesn't have any preview because it's not generated you can pick whatever um, type of map you prefer uh, i'm gonna go for four play map then i can choose to add as many ai players i want to and uh, randomize them if i want then just start the game and what's happening here is that the game is actually generating a specific map for this very game or this very game session. And yeah, uh, it's quite thrilling to know that no one has probably ever played this particular map ever before. I'm going to show you actually how the maps look when you generate them. I'm going to switch over to the uh, map editor. So first of all, you're going to start by creating a new adventure map. And this is just for you guys if you want to check out how it kind of looks when you uh, generate maps. So you can select new and then generator type, choose randomly generated. And set six players or whatever you want to. And yeah, here you can see all of the details. So it obviously created a huge map for me and uh, I will tell you just a little bit of how it actually works. Uh, the system is written mainly by Patrick. Uh, so I'm going to switch over to a presentation he did internally for us. To kind of give you the insight of how it all works. And bear in mind that I've taken out a lot of technical details. And I'm not an expert at this. But just to kind of show you the ropes of how it actually works. So the empty maps are created uh, using hexagons to give it a less square and kind of rigid looking map. And then uh, the system generates uh, neutral and kind of player regions. And then it scrambles around where the players uh, regions are based on the randomized map. Then it creates uh, regions by doing areas around or in between these regions. This typically can also result in roads going to and from the different towns or the faction starting points. And then the regions actually grow uh, in increments, uh, so they kind of flow out across the map. And hostiles are spawned wherever there is connections that intersects uh, between these regions. Then it figures out spawn points where uh, different things can kind of be or reside on the map. And then um, the system also then refines and removes where spawn points have become a bit too cluttered or uh, intense in parts of the map. It then creates edges along the map edge and between regions. This is where it places trees and mountains to make sure that the, the map is divided into nice areas and you can't go outside of the map. And then finally, the, the whole data from this system kind of rasterizes it into square tiles because that's what we use in the map editor, actually. And yeah, that's how the game decides where to place the hostiles, uh, the game objects and decorations and uh, yeah, different environment things. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I think all in all, it's really exciting to get this first version of the random map generator out there. And I will share a link to uh, a blog post that Patrick has written where he explains how you guys can actually create your own uh, templates for the random map generator. So the link will be in the description below the video and uh, I hope you will take the chance to kind of create your own random map uh, generation templates and share on our mod IO system. With that said, have a great day guys. See you soon again. Bye.